Hey guys, Techno Material with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to get your AT&T Samsung phone carrier or network unlocked. Essentially, what happens is if you have an AT&T phone and you're trying to use it on another carrier or simply switching between carrier or taking it out of the country, you won't be able to use it because it's locked by default to AT&T. While now, if you paid off the phone and you have a good standing on your account, you can actually request at and to unlock it but after they request the unlock they'll send you a code and you have to enter the code into your phone to actually get it unlocked and we're going to walk you guys through the whole process here explain to you everything that you need to know so if you have your samsung phone make sure uh, of course it's power on ready to go you need internet connection on the phone or another device that you have available because the first thing we want to do is simply go into settings here and you'll notice here in the settings you need to find the IMEI number which if you go all the way down at the bottom and click on about and you'll see there's an IMEI number you're going to press and hold this which will copy the number so if you press and hold it will copy to clipboard and once it's done as you can see on this S20 Ultra we're going to go on to our browser here we have Chrome but whatever internet you use you can even use it on a computer. Simply want to go and search in Google or anywhere AT&T unlock phone. So what that will do is take you to AT&T's device unlock portal which you can click on and once you click on it it will explain you a couple things how you can get your AT&T device unlocked. So this can be for even iPhone, any other device that's through AT&T. As you notice here, you need to do a couple things here. You need to actually, to be able to get them to unlock, you'll need to make sure that you paid off the phone. And if you did pay it off early, you have to wait 60 days before you can do that. And a couple other things around uh, prepaid and things like that. And also if you didn't pay off, there's special cases, like if you're in military or something like that, they can always, unlock it for you that way. So once you know that you are actually able to get an unlock because you paid off the device or you have a special case, you can simply click on unlock your device. So once you click on unlock your device, you'll get to this page where basically it says either if you have an AT&T number or if you don't. So you, you don't need to necessarily have an AT&T number. You can simply say no and that will ask you for the IMEI number. But if you have an AT&T number, you can also enter that here. In our case, we just don't have an AT&T number anymore. So we're just going to say no. And then we're going to press and hold here. And once we press and hold, simply we're going to hit that paste option or you can simply type it out as well and put that number in there. Once you have done that, you can do the robot check here and then click on the legal stuff and then hit next. Once you hit next, what's going to happen is you're going to want to enter your name and first and last name. You don't need the mobile number, but you do need to enter the email and you're going to enter that email twice here and then hit that submit button. So that's step one. Once you hit that submit button, what's going to happen is they're going to send you an email. So you're going to get an email just like this here in this phone where it says you have 24 hours to confirm. So you'll get a link on the phone on your email that you submitted. It doesn't have to be email that was on your account. It could be any email. And then you're going to want to go ahead and click that link where it says confirm to unlock and then once you do that, this happens pretty quick. After you submit that, it will send you that email, but you have to do it within 24 hours. And once you do that, you'll get another email notification. And this time on the email notification, it will say your device has been approved to be unlocked. And then in that email here, you're going to get this special number. Now, this special number here, we're going to kind of hide it from you guys, but essentially this number is going to be unique to you where it says your unlock code. Now for a Samsung phone, you need this. For iPhones, you don't need this. It automatically does it, but for Samsung phone, they require that number that you see in your email. So you're going to get that number on your email. And the reason why we need that number is simply because when we put another SIM card in, it will ask for that number to unlock the device. So what you're going to do is take a SIM card ejector tool or a paper clip anything that basically can pop out the sim card so on this s20 we can just simply look on top but sometimes it's on the bottom or the side depending on what samsung phone you have so we're going to go ahead and put that in 
take the SIM card tray out. Once we take it out, we're going to simply go ahead and line up our SIM card. Usually you, to do this, you'll notice there's a cut edge to the SIM card. And then you're going to line it up, match it up. The key here is to use a SIM card that's different from AT&T. So here I'm using a T-Mobile SIM card or whatever carrier that you want to move into. Basically a non-AT&T SIM card is what you need to enter in order for you to be able to unlock the phone after it has been approved and you receive the code. So you're going to go pop that in. And as you can see, this is the message we get where you need to enter that code. Now that code will show you on the email that you'll get right away after you have been approved and you confirm your email. Now you're going to go ahead and enter that. So what we're going to do is enter that number that we mentioned for our device here. So this number right here in the email, we'll go ahead and enter that number. So number, it's going to be different from everyone because it's a unique number that AT&T gives you for your device. So we're going to go ahead and enter that number. So that's all we're going to do here. So we're just moving off the screen to enter that number. Cool. So once you enter that number, it'll be like this and you'll hit that unlock and it will verify the unlock code. And as you can see here, now it's unlocked. The chain has changed. All we have to do is restart the phone and now this AT&T device is unlocked. We can use T-Mobile or any other carrier that we want. So that's what a network unlock does for you. What it essentially does for us is that we're able to go ahead and use any carrier that we choose and we're not locked to AT&T any longer. So again, to review the steps, the first thing you want to do is get the IMEI number of the phone, go Google search uh, the portal, the AT&T portal. Now, if for some reason, a portal isn't working. You can always contact customer service for AT&T through their chat or call them and then provide that number and email. Usually the portal works the best because it's just quick and once you enter your email, it'll send your email, confirm that email, and then once you confirm that email, next email should be, if you're approved, it'll give you the code. Now in a case that your account isn't paid off or the phone isn't paid off, or there's some kind of, something going on with your account, you won't get, you won't get approved and you won't get the code. In that case, you'll have to talk with AT&T. And once you have gotten the code, if it's approved, simply enter a non-AT&T SIM and then enter that number and you're good to go and you're on lock with your Samsung AT&T device. So hopefully this video is helpful and if this video is helpful, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.